one of my favorite things to do is go hiking. And I really enjoy a hike when there is a nice treat at the end of that hike. And oh, there is today. It's big, it's old, and it's beautiful. Look at this, mountains. Aren't they gorgeous? So as you look at them, you see all the different shapes. Makes you wonder, how are mountains formed? Well, let's start by thinking about our Earth and the Earth's crust. It's the soil, it's the rocks that we're all standing on every day. Think of maybe the trunk of a tree and the bark on the outside. You know, the inside is very different. That bark on the outside is really the protective layering. Or maybe think of a piece of bread. It's got the crust on the outside. That's a lot like the Earth's crust. However, the Earth's crust has what we call plates. So let's take a look at this. Let's use these rocks, for example. When you see the rocks like they are right now, they're sitting in their different places, but it's almost like putting together a puzzle how the Earth works. Over time, these plates, and I mean a long period of time, move closer and closer to each other. They keep pushing towards each other till eventually they push up. And that's how mountains are formed. It takes a really long time because these plates move only a centimeter or so a year. Let's take the mountains we're in right now. Take a look at them once again. This mountain range is known as the Blue Ridge Mountain Range. And it's a part of the Appalachian Mountain Range very famous across the eastern part of the country. As a matter of fact, from Nashville, if you start heading east, you'll run into the Appalachian Mountain Chain. Absolutely beautiful. You know how old this chain of mountains is? About 480 million years old. Now, at one time, it used to be a lot taller, like the Rocky Mountains and like the Alps, but it's kind of shrunk over the years. What do I mean by that? Well, it's all because of erosion. What is erosion? Well, when you think about getting rained on, getting a lot of wind blowing, having hot days and cold days, over time that erodes the mountain so it starts to shrink or kind of chip away at it a little bit. So that's why the Appalachian Mountains aren't quite, not quite as tall as they used to be. Now, there are some pretty famous mountains that we talk about in the Appalachian mountain chain, and there's one we want to show you. It's called Grandfather Mountain. Can you tell why they call it Grandfather Mountain? Well, the settlers named it that way back when, when they looked and noticed it looked like an old man's face. Can you see it? The nose, the lips, the chin. Take a good look. It's beautiful and it's quite the attraction today. They actually have a mile high bridge up on top of that mountain. Couldn't really see it from that perspective. It is 5,946 feet tall. That is the tallest peak in the Blue Ridge chain. Thanks for joining me on my hike.